Laker fans, welcome into the Game 4 recap as the Lakers win 114 to 108 over the Denver Nuggets. We're doing it all live here right after the game. I'm Jimmy Crowther with your post-game rapid reaction. And let me just give you my immediate thoughts. Number one, great move by Frank Vogel to put in Dwight Howard to start that game. He was the difference maker from the beginning of the game, really, from the very first quarter. He came in with a double-double and really just had all the energy in the world. And that changed how this game would start, and it changed how this game would finish as well. As the Lakers do end up winning this one anyway. And, he, and no, he didn't play in the fourth quarter, but he played when it mattered. and he, or, or he played really, I shouldn't say when it mattered, that's the wrong phrasing. He played in the beginning to help him get off to a hot start, and he made sure that the Nuggets didn't go on a run in the second quarter. In that first quarter, the Lakers went on... Won the first quarter 37 to 30. They outscored the Nuggets in the second, or the Nuggets outscored the Lakers, excuse me, in the second quarter by two points. Third quarter, Nuggets won that one as well. But the fourth quarter is where it mattered, and the Lakers won it 27 to 24. Now, Anthony Davis, really solid game offensively. Still not a good rebounding night from him. LeBron James, pretty good game all around, but I have some downsides about LeBron, and we'll get into those here in just a minute. So don't go anywhere. I liked what I saw from the team as a whole, but I still saw some red flags because they still let the Nuggets come back more than they should have. There were things about this game that made me uncomfortable watching the Lakers. And if I was a Lakers fan, I would be uncomfortable going into game five because the Nuggets have shown that they're able to fight back. And the Lakers have shown that they're not able to hold off and really defend a solid lead. So I am definitely concerned about that, but I'm not too concerned because the Lakers still got the W. So let's read off some quick box scores for you here. And I kind of want to just get into really everything and what happened in this one. Start off with the Lakers box score. Leading score of the game was Anthony Davis with 34 points, five rebounds, three assists, and three steals. He was 13 of 14 from the free throw line, 10 of 15 from the field. 26 points from the King, 9 rebounds, 8 assists for him. He was 7 of 18 from the field. We'll talk more about him here in just a minute. KCP had a pretty solid night, 13 points, 3 of 9 from the 3-point line, 2 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 steal. Also had a block and 1 turnover. 12 points from Dwight Howard and 11 rebounds. He also had 1 assist and 1 steal. No blocked shots, but he was 5 of 6 from the field and 2 of 3 from the free throw line. 11 points for playoff Rondo and 7 assists and 5 rebounds, including one very crucial rebound there at the end of the fourth quarter. 10 points from Kyle Kuzma in 19 minutes of action. 20 minutes for Alex Caruso. He had 3 points, 2 assists, a steal, a block, a turnover, and 5 fouls. And the worst player in tonight's game, Markeith Morris. 2 points, 4 rebounds, 2 steals, 2 turnovers, 6 fouls in this game. Not sure what Frank Vogel was going with, with having him on the floor as much as he did, but he stuck with him for some reason, and I just, I cannot figure out why, because I hated what I saw from him. We'll talk about Frank Vogel's decision to go with Markeith Morris more here in just a little bit. On the Nuggets side of the ball, Jamal Murray, 32 points, 8 assists, 3 rebounds. He had 4 turnovers. He was a perfect 8 of 8 from the free throw line. He has not missed from the free throw line in these conference finals. He's 12 of 20 from the field, but did not make a 3-pointer. 17 points for Jeremy Grant was the second leading scorer. He only had two rebounds, one assist, and four fouls. Nikola Jokic was held in check tonight at 16 points, seven rebounds, four assists, two steals, five fouls, only a plus two in the box score, six of 13 from the field tonight for Nikola Jokic. 13 points for Michael Porter Jr. and eight rebounds. He had a pretty solid night off the bench in 21 minutes of action. 12 points for Monty Morris and four assists for him. Three points for Mason Plumley, who the Lakers have just figured out how to abuse in this series. Torrey Craig had seven points, two rebounds, 20 minutes of action. Gary Harris, the fifth starter, did not play well at all. Three points, two rebounds, one steal, two fouls, minus two in the box score, one of five from the field, 19 minutes of action. Paul Millsap, not a great game either. Five points, six rebounds, three assists, three turnovers, and five fouls. He got into foul trouble real early, and that made life pretty easy on Dwight Howard. So what I want to do right now is kind of just give out some grades and some rapid reactions to what happened with this team. And I'll start off with the leading scorer in Anthony Davis. I'm going to give him a B in this game. Yeah, offensively, he carried the load and he was great at 34 points, but 
the dude's not rebounding the ball, and I don't know why. Now, he did have a little bit of an injury scare. He turned his ankle. He'll have one night off before having to turn around and play in Game 5, which will be an elimination game for the Denver Nuggets, but not sure what's going on with his rebounding. He's not being aggressive, and it's been very, very frustrating to watch. He needs to be aggressive, so I'm going to give him a B. LeBron James, I'm going to give a B-. minus. He did enough to win the game, but... He was a big reason the Nuggets kept getting back into the game. And here's why. I know you guys are probably freaking out at me because I've given a B and a B- minus to two guys on a winning game. But look at this. LeBron James took so many ill-advised two-pointers. Defense was great. I'll give him that. Free throw shooting was pretty solid. Uh, I'll give him that as well. But his shot choice was terrible. Terrible shot choice tonight from LeBron James. And it was a big reason... They let the Nuggets come back and win this game. Dwight Howard, I give you an A+. Dwight Howard was terrific in this game. Rajon Rondo, I also give you an A+. You guys exceeded expectations. Markeith Morris, a big fat F. And because he gets an F, Frank Vogel gets a C plus from me in this one. I'm being critical because if the Lakers have championship aspirations, they got to be better than they were in tonight's game. Now, it was a win, but it wasn't ugly. And they keep letting the Nuggets come back into these games. And I just do not understand why. The offense as a whole, I'll give an A-. minus. I think they went to Anthony Davis pretty early on down low, which I think was a huge key for me in this game. And I think could still be better in Game 5 and in the NBA Finals, assuming they make it there. But here's my thing, guys. And now let's kind of get into exactly what's going to happen in Game 5. The Nuggets know better than anybody in the bubble how to take a punch and how to respond. They've done it twice already. They've gone down 3-1, and they've won both of those series. They're down 3-1 right now, so the Lakers need to be better than they've ever been in Game 5. The Lakers need to put it on the Nuggets. In fact, they need to completely stomp on the Nuggets. I don't want just a another one of these wins. If the, if the Lakers do what they did tonight and let the Nuggets come back and fight and, and, and get into the game, I think the Lakers are going to lose. I think it's going to be a really, really tough win for the Lakers in Game 5. So it's all about not being able to let that happen and let the Nuggets come back. you got to stay strong and finish strong. And Frank Vogel has to make better decisions. I hated what I saw to Frank Vogel by going with Markeith Morris over Dwight Howard in the second half as much as he did. Morris was not good on either side of the ball. He made stupid fouls. He took stupid shots. He couldn't even shoot the ball that well when he did shoot. Vogel, play Dwight Howard when he comes in with a double-double. Didn't understand that decision. That made me very, very frustrated uh, just to watch as a basketball fan in general. But I will say the defense was incredible tonight. Jamal Murray was making some incredible shots. He's the only reason that um, really he scored as much as he did. It wasn't anything the Lakers were or weren't doing uh, or were not doing. It was what Jamal Murray was doing on the offensive side of the ball. So I applaud the defense. I applaud the win for sure. And here's the thing, guys. Here on the Lakers channel, we love it. Go subscribe to the Lakers channel if you haven't already. But we're going to the main chat sports channel for game number five. So it'll be an elimination game. I'll be doing it live here in the home studio. And hopefully we have more than about 150 of you watching that live stream. And up near the 5,000 mark, I think we can do it. So let's go live on the main chat sports channel. If you haven't subscribed already, it's youtube.com slash chat sports TV. If you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, it's at Jimmy underscore Crowder. You're going to want to make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter as soon as possible because, guys, Game five's coming up. And if the Lakers win that, they are in the NBA Finals. We're going to be live for it all. You guys aren't going to want to miss a single thing. I appreciate all you guys watching with us here on Chat Sports. Make sure you're on the main channel on Saturday night when I go live for Game 5. Appreciate you guys. And, uh, hey, I guess we're going to see Lakers could be in the NBA Finals as early as Saturday night.